Hey there guys, this is Wesnator88 here and I'm back again with another episode of Fishing Planet. Yes guys, Fishing Planet. And I'm still at Neron River. Yes, I know Neron River. So today's episode, I'm going to be doing, as you can tell in the title, Neron Trial. Now in the last episode, as you may have noticed, if you watched it, I caught the smallmouth bass and the largemouth bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the location where I did catch them. I'm going to try and catch them at a different location so that I'm still doing it. So the mission's being tracked at the minute. So there's only two fish I really need to try and catch, which is the redfin pickerel and the American shad. Now the redfin pickerel can be a bit difficult. I would suggest having a spinner or casting reel with you. And I think it'll be a casting spoon or maybe even just a spinner uh, law because they will bite it a bit easier. Unfortunately, I didn't bring them with me. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna risk the pain to go back to come back here again just try and catch it. So I'm going to try and get it with the small minnows that I have. I'm hopefully going to be able to get, catch it. Obviously the American Shad, I should have brought spawn sacks or natural eggs. Unfortunately, I didn't bring them. But luckily, because I did one of them near in trials, we got shrimps. And luckily, the American Shad loved shrimps. And I'm just going to double check, make sure nothing else like the shrimps. Uh, from what it shows so far, nothing else likes the shrimps. So, as you can see, most of the predators we're going for love small minnows. So, yeah, again, I'm going to be using my uh, Nero 10x10 with the one up hook and a titanium leader. Hopefully, we'll do pretty well. So, also, I'm going to go back into this spot over here. So, just put me over there. Um, so I'm still on the same spot. Now, obviously, when I was doing this, I was actually catching these fish around over here, surprisingly enough. And just in that spot over there. Um, so you can catch these bass around here. Now, let me just put this rod away. But there is a couple of spots where you can actually catch the bass from. Now I'm going to come over to a place I know I can catch the bass but I'm also going to try and get the redfin pickerel because the redfin pickerel is going to be a bit of a chance to try and get. Now if you have your spinner and casting reel, I'm trying to change my bait personally, try and cast out to about there and bring it in. I'm pretty sure stop and go works for this location. But, like I said, I didn't bring my casting reel, so I'm going to be coming over here and I need to make sure I've got this set just right. Should be about 50. And I have caught bass in this location, smallmouth and largemouth bass. If you get snagged, I'm going to be annoyed. Yep. And that's our largemouth bass. So we'll keep you. Let's see if we can get the smallmouth bass from here as well, which we should. Oh, unfortunately, guys, I completely did not snag it somewhere, and I can't tell where it is. And that is the smallmouth bass. So, yes, guys, this location, perfect for the large and smallmouth bass. Might take you a few tries, but I've been able to get it. So, redfin pickle. This, this is going to be the challenge. Now... I'm going to try with the one off. Actually, I should. Is this another long nosed gar? The last time I catch long nosed gar over here, I'm going to be completely out of shocked because I've never caught long nosed gar over here. Now that has to be my redfin pickerel. That is the redfin pickerel. Yes! Uh, and it was a trophy. Bonus. But yeah, personal record. I think one here I've caught so far. Right. That's the flathead cat. I'm getting annoyed with myself. So I'd have to catch the really the cup, which is over there. Anyway. We're going to go to this. And we're going to now change it. We're going to go for a two up. 
not too hot. And again, go for the shrimps. Now, obviously, this can get the bass, but hopefully, we'll just get the shads basically. I'm hoping. I do not want to be catching bass because <laughs> I'll be annoyed. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to come over it. I'm going to try and get some. I'll just have it float down this way. Now, I know you can catch. Nice thing. Come on. Now, oh, here's this man where I can shed. Boom. There we go, guys. That was my American Shad. Right, so I'll keep that. Great job. We've got that trial done. But, hey. Now, just in case anyone's wondering, there is another location where you can catch the American Shad. So I'm going to quickly go over to it. And let me just do that. Just so you guys can see. Um, now, I know you can catch them with the shrimps over here. I know some people probably use these small minnows, and they probably actually use a smaller hook, to be honest. Uh, and they actually fish from this spot here. So obviously you'll see that there's a tent that was around over just there. And the campfire. So you just come down to these trees, trees and bushes. And you come to just this tree, which is near the logs be underneath if you want and all you do is you fish to about where them puddles of water is going just in around there and you should catch some American Shads just around here guys as well um, I'm actually quite glad that didn't take as long as what I thought it might I'm actually really glad it didn't take as long as what I thought it might have done anyway hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did guys please do hit that like button and if you haven't already please do subscribe like I say I'm actually surprised I got that one done. And the next mission I have to try and do is... No idea which one it's going to be. Oh, it's going to be the canal. I hate this one. <laughs> it's, this one's going to be brutal. Um, obviously, I'm still level 16. not quite level 17. So, I'll have a look at what sport events may be going on. I wish I could do that one again. Unfortunately, guys. I'm too high of a level. Oh well. But maybe I can enter in some of these events maybe later on. Would I want to do that one? No, not really, because not so much. I probably could. I mean, again, the I, 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 I could. That's going to be annoying. Um, anyway, I'm dawdling, as I always do when I get a bit more. Oh, but let me get the final. Make sure that's all done. That, that, do I have to fish anything else from here? Apart from the crappy, which I'll do at some point when I do the monster fish. Rocky Lake came off like it's near and Yeah, I'll probably do this one where I have to do the monster fish. So, Rocky Emerald, Naren. Yeah, that's going to be a whole one video. I'm going to have to go to three different locations to get this. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out any other time when I do these type of mastering challenges anyway. Maybe I've got enough cash. Oh, I'm going to have to do more than one video at the same time, which means everything will have to be edited at the same time. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please just subscribe. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out a little bit, or even gals. Hopefully this has helped you find out where the fish are, find out where you can go and what you can use. Like I say, as you may have seen, I'm not preparing. I made a bit. I took a great deal, but I made a bit. Uh, hopefully, like I said, this helped you figure out what it is they can do. Um, like I showed, I've taken my standard start rod. I'm still trying to get it destroyed. Same for my fader rod setup. At some point, that will get destroyed and uh, break on me, so then I can see exactly what will happen and what the cost is to repair it fully. Yes, I am trying to break the rod, guys. I'm, I'm going to break this rod. 
be honest, I'd prefer to break this rod, but it's taking time. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to get off, get some rest, and I'll be back at some point for the next episode, which is probably going to be over at this horrible location. Yes, I'm saying horrible location because I cannot stand this location, considering this location cost me that much to fish there and that much to travel there. I do not want to have to travel there ever again. Um, sorry. Anyway, I'll see you all on the fishing lake, guys. As they'd always say, cast straight and throw, and hopefully you land the fish that you want. See you later, guys. Enjoy yourselves, and happy fishing. Bye for now.